It's more Mork and Mindy than Jetsons, but okay. We're going to talk about whether that will improve productivity in the workplace. All right, but we're going to begin with that breaking news. Two Carnival Cruise Lines now facing mechanical problems, ending the vacations of thousands of passengers. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is in Miami with the latest. Gabe, good morning. Savannah, good morning. This latest incident involves Carnival's legend just a day after the dream reported problems. Carnival says no passengers are in danger, but all this is happening just a few days after the company's CEO promised a comprehensive investigation of its fleet. This following uh, last month's Triumph disaster. Problems aboard two Carnival ships in two days. The Carnival legend slowed down overnight by a technical issue with its propulsion system in Honduras. Its visit to Grand Cayman now canceled as it slowly heads back to Tampa. This as 5,700 passengers and crew of the Carnival Dream are waking up in St. Martin. Their vacation also cut short. Things happen, you know. Things break down. I mean, they can't help it. On Wednesday, while in port, the crew discovered a problem with a ship's backup emergency diesel generator. Carnival says the dock ship never lost power, but elevators in at least one restroom stopped working for a few hours. The dream was on the last leg of a seven day cruise that started in Port Canaveral with stops in Nassau, St. Thomas, and St. Martin. Now, passengers will be heading home on flights paid for by Carnival. In a written statement, the company extended its sincere apologies. They've been great. There's no trouble. It's like a regular port day. No trouble. Some passengers crack jokes on Twitter. How dare they strand us on a tropical island? Others were like not that. amused. So, Carnival better step up to the plate because it's not looking good for them. Still, a much less dire situation than Carnival's triumph last month when an engine fire stranded 4,200 passengers in the Gulf of Mexico for five days with no power, no working toilets, and no running water. Experts wonder how customers will react to these recent problems. For the industry as a whole, realistically, it really puts a black eye on it. The Dream's voyage on Saturday has been canceled. Again, the Legends trip is also cut short, and Carnival is giving all passengers a partial refund and half off a future cruise, Matt. All right, Gabe, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Now to thank you, Sandra. Well, Wealth Manager Ty Young says this move by Toyota could be just the tip of the inflation iceberg. So what do you see happening now, Ty? Well, Neil, thanks for having me back. And when we, we've had TARP, we had uh, stimulus.